Yo, what is going on Nitro Sites? It is your boy the Nitro General here, back at it again for a brand new episode of our Pokemon Showdown series. If you guys are excited for this, make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new. All that good stuff because at the end of the day, I am trying to hit 350 subscribers by the end of the year. That is my goal. Last year, my goal was 300. Uh, we didn't quite hit that, unfortunately. We didn't even get about like 80 subscribers away from it. Uh, but um, this year, my goal is to hit 350. Don't know if we will or not. I'm just going to keep posting the content that I enjoy posting and hopefully people, people enjoy it. So, uh, yeah. So obviously, if you guys um, are watching this, then you probably already know that I posted my draft analysis for the JWF uh, just a few days ago. When this is this is going up Monday, so yeah, it literally went up like two days ago. <laughs> as long as it went up on schedule. If it did not go up on schedule, then uh, oof, <laughs> then something was spoiled for you guys. Hopefully, it went up on schedule. As long as I get it recorded today, it should. So uh, yeah, but um. Yeah, that's uh, that's really really what I wanted to say about that. So make sure you guys have your notifications on though, because once we post those, there'll be a battle every week. Obviously, uh, once a week there'll be a battle. So yeah, I hope, really hope you guys are excited for that. So make sure your notifications on. And uh, without all that out of the way, without further ado, I think we should just get into some battles. So we'll see if we can find one quickly. Obviously, we're using our nasty plot uh, baton pass set right now, but um. Hopefully we'll find a battle quickly, otherwise I will pause it and we will wait for one. So, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So we just found one right off. Uh, alright, alright. So, haven't seen an Aggron in a while. Which, Grimmsnarl you don't really see in OU too much. But I mean, every once in a while you will. So I feel like just going Pepper Pots and I think Tinkerbell... I'm a little nervous because if he goes, we don't have a zero aura answer here at all. So I'm just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna do this. He's gonna go Grim style, set up some screens, and Rillaboom. Okay. So probably what's gonna happen here is that he is just gonna focus sash me, um, or he's he's gonna knock off me and put me in focus sash. That's um, so we're gonna shell smash, and I'm just going to. D gleam on Rillaboom or uh, Air Slash, but I figured the fake out was coming out. I can't fake out Pepper Pot, so there's the knockoff, like I said. Um, and his knockoff is actually disabled, which is kind of big. So I'm a little nervous actually to go into Balboa right now because he is just going to grassy glide me here, and we don't have protect on this thing. So that sucks. That actually really, really, really sucks. That actually really, really, really sucks. I think in order to win this, I'm forced to go into Doggo here, and I'm forced to Air Slash on the Rillaboom. I think that's my only play here, because he is just gonna Grassy Glide me. Yeah, just like that. So, and that did a critical hit. That's actually, that actually really, really sucks. So we do just take out the Rillaboom. It does suck that I don't think we're gonna be able to get the, um, um, Okay, so now he's going to go Aggron here, and I think I just Sacred Fire. I think I just Sacred Fire, and um, I just Air Slash on the Grim. So he is going to go into Clef. Uh, so he's going to set up a... So we get 50% off on Grim, which is actually nice, and we should just... Okay, we do 46% to Clef. Um, I think my play here... I'm just gonna Sacred Fire on the Grim Style as well as Air Slashing. I feel like he's just going to. Okay, so he uh, he doesn't follow me, so I'm a little concerned on what he's gonna do. What icy wind? Okay, all right. I mean that Zero Aura is 100% an issue right now, and oh man, he sends off Feramosa, dude. This sucks because I I literally just have to Sacred Fire and Air Slash on on the Feramosa, and the thing is, there's the Agron. Um, so he's gonna speed swap. Okay. So we get rid of the Feramosa. To be honest, I'm not too worried about Agron because of we do have Balboa in the back. I'm not too worried about that. Um, so there's 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 that that I'm that's the thing that I'm really really worried about. So we just Sacred Fire and I D Gleam and hopefully okay. So he's gonna fake out. Go for Ticker Bell. Go for Ticker Bell. And he missed. This is big. Come on, take it out, take it out, take it out. If we take this out, we win. Uh, oh, we get the burn, though. 
We get, we do get the burn, which is pretty big. So I feel like I am just going to e speed here, and then just go for a D gleam. I feel like that's our play, and we do just take it out. Let's go, let's go. Even without, oh my god, dude, and we, oh my god, dude, oh my god, man, and we popped his balloon. So if he's just gonna go, we just go siren either way here, and um. We go Siren, and I'm going to go Tech, I think, is probably our best bet. Um, I'm going to try to get a 6-0. I, I think we win this either way, but, um, oh, man. Yeah, I, I think we win this either way. He's got Head Smash, Double S, Hone, uh, Home Claws, and I don't know what else is, what his last thing would be. I'm just going to Muddy Water, and um, I think we just try Attack on the Clef. So he Head Smashes. It doesn't take us out, though, and... Uh, so he lose drops his accuracy, which is actually kind of big. Um, but because we have Doggo in the... Oh, God. So he does that. He does that. Okay, that's not great. Um, I'm going to Muddy Water, and... I think I have to go for an Ice Beam on it. Unfortunately, that is... Unfortunately, that's the play I think we have to go for and get the Freeze. Go on, get the Freeze! No, we don't. Okay, uh, we may... We should still be able to do this. I, I actually don't know, guys. I actually don't know if we'll be able to. I'm gonna go into Doggo here. Actually, crap. Crap. The Misty Terrain. Actually, no, it's not Psychic Terrain. So I think I just E-Speed on the Clef. And, um... I just go for another Ice Beam and try to get the Freeze. So we do take out the Clef area, which is big, so we can no longer Heal Pulse. So he has to sweep the rest of our four... Four of our, uh, Mons in order to win this. And he doesn't have anything that goes into both Pokemon. So here's... My only play here is to... Detect. And just keep trying to and try to do this. Because I feel like he's going to go into Balboa here. I don't feel like... Yeah, he doesn't get anything by going into Tech. Um, so he's just going to do that. Okay, and then 100% this is... In, in order to win this, I feel like just to be safe, I have to go into Pepper. And then Ice Beam one more time in KO. Because he's just going to double edge... And there it is. Pepper's immune to it. Sorry about that, man. And you go down. And that actually works out really well. Uh, so GG's. <laughs> GG's to useful uh, Aquaman or whatever your name was. Something like that, I think. I really wasn't paying attention too much, if I'm honest. So, yeah, we, we get a first win, which is cool. But we did not get to use our nasty plot. Uh, Baton Pass set. And unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to here either. But I'm going to try. We'll go into Pepper and I'm going to go into Siren. Because I feel like he's just leads in DD and Necrozma. Oh man, they all get Expanding Force. This is so lame, dude. This is easily the most lamest set team I've ever seen. This dude sucks. Yeah, this dude This dude is just going to... Aha! Aha! No Psychic Terrain for you, my guy. No Psychic Terrain for you. Now, easily, I go out into to tech here. Yeah, you really think I'm stupid, man? I am not going to let you just do that. Destiny Bond. Oof. 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 All right. So here we go. Here is... I Shadow Ball on the Victini, and... I... Psych up, I think. I see he's gonna go back into Indeedy and then he's just going to. Uh, so there's that, um, but he is immune. So he's gonna expand it for us, gonna take us down to our Sash. I Psych up here. Um, Alright, now I go for a Shadow Ball and a Guard. And. Actually. Actually, no. Crap. In order to get Urshifu in, I would have to Baton Pass here. Oh man, this actually kind of sucks. Uh, should we just try it? I think we just try it. I think I just Baton Pass and we just double into Siren here. I think that's probably our play. Get rid of the Psychic Terrain. And then... If he goes for an E Force, though, if I'm. Oh, 
I'm just nervous here. I'm, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I gotta hope that if he goes for any... Oh! Let's go! Let's go, dude. He screwed up. He 110% screwed up. So we're gonna go for a surging strikes here. And... But he would actually... We're gonna go for a detect first. A detect and a... Actually, no, Surging Strikes KOs that thing. Yeah, we go for Surging Strikes, and then, um, yeah. We go for a Surging Strikes on Victini here, and then I think, do I just, or no, on, um, Guard. No, no, no we Detect. That's 100% what we do. I'm so confused. And then I think we go Siren, because I, uh, oh wait, we can't go Siren. <laughs> We're already in Siren. Um, God, uh. I'm just gonna muddy water. We're just gonna muddy water here. He degleams. Um, now he tries to will the wisp, but it doesn't work. I muddy water. Victini is not okay. So Victini's balloon popped, but I feel like now we easily just go for a surging strikes in a guard, and we just go for muddy water. Oh, I should have psyched up. I should have psyched up, dude. Why didn't I psych up? Alright, so he's gonna will the west. He is gonna burn, but you can't because of the misty terrain, my guy! Let's go! I don't think there's a way we lose this at this point, man. I don't think there's a way we lose this at this point. You can come in with indeed. Yeah, forfeit, my guy! Just do it! Just do it! You know you can't outspeed, and you can't be a plus two Urshifu, dude. Oh my god! That's so sick. Okay. Well, uh, GG's my guy. <laughs> I feel like I kind of want to get one more battle for you guys. I kind of feel like I do. Just because that one was a really quick forfeit. Um, we're going to try to get one more. Yeah, we'll try We'll try to get one more for you guys. If we lose it, we lose it. If we don't, we don't. I mean, that's just how things go in the world of Pokemon. But, uh, yeah. So, I don't really know. We're going to give it a second here. If we don't find a battle, I'm just going to pause. I don't want to make you guys wait too long. And there it is. Okay, cool. And again, this just looks absolutely phenomenal. I go Pepper here, and I 110% go Siren as well. So here's this. Um, don't send out Lucario. Cool. Did not send out Lucario. That's what I wanted. Um, so I just go for a Shell Smash, and I just go for a Moonblast. My okay. That's what I was hoping he would do. That's what I was hoping he would do here. Um, I'm hope. Oh the. Sandstorm's gonna take me out. I didn't even think about that. Didn't even think about that. That actually kind of sucks. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's what I figured was gonna happen, too. So, now we just go Balboa, though. Um, so, I was gonna say, did we not take? But, um, 110%, my plan is to detect here. Actually, no. It's to go for a Surging Strikes in the X. And then go, go tech probably on the steel type move that's coming out here from Mexico Drill. Or we just outspeed extra. Are you not Sand Force? Or you're not, you're, you're, he's Sand Force, not Sand Rush. My guy's Sand Force, not Sand Rush. Ooh, I'm sorry, man. I feel like he comes in with Lucario here. He does, he does just come out with Lucario here. Um,. So I obviously have to switch. I feel like switching into Siren is our best bet here. And just going for a Ice Beam on the hip out. I'm kind of hoping Lucario goes for um, Swords Dance here. Oh. Damn it. Now he actually is going to KO attack. Oh my god, he went for S Stone Edge. Why? That's not even Stab, dude. My guy. My dude. Um, my dude, what is going through your head right now? Okay, <clears throat> he flash cannons, knew it wouldn't do too much. Uh, that did a lot. Okay, so... Corviknight usually doesn't carry a Steel-type move. So I'm just gonna go for a Water Pulse and just go, or a uh, Muddy Water and just go for a Thunderbolt here. Corviknight usually is what, like, Body Press, Roost, um... 
Well, we get it, get it off on Corv, which is actually... So he Bray Birds, but it doesn't really matter here because I Thunderbolted on Corviknight and you are gone. So it really don't matter. It's just going to be... Yeah, okay, and now I just come in with Doggo here, 110%. He's going to come up with Lycanroc Dusk, who does have a stab. Uh, yeah, that's probably not our best bet then, right? Ah, we're, we're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. I'm just going to E-Speed into Lucario. And I am going to try attack on the, the Lycanroc. Oh my god, he didn't go for Excel Rock. He didn't go for Excel Rock. Why wouldn't you go for Excel Rock? He went for Stone Edge, dude. I don't need... Doggo, I don't need it in this battle at all. I literally only came out and we get the freeze. Let's get it. Let's actually get it. One of the three battles that we did, he made his forfeit here because Belbo is just going to come out and click buttons, dude. Belbo is just going to come out and click buttons, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, so surging strikes into Lycanroc and then we just ice beam KO the hop. Uh, we don't think we, I don't think we KO the hop out on. But, um, oh, he thought out first first um first one but uh that's that's fine because you're still gonna go down to one searching strikes not even two. Oh my god and then the ice beam just take and oh is it sorry pokemon master 29110 i think you should change your name to pokemon not master tonight i'm kidding man i'm kidding we got three wins with this even though one of the only one of the battles we actually got to use uh our nasty plot set but uh we're gonna move on to the next team that we're gonna be using and uh yeah i'll see you guys there all right guys so we're back here with our toxicity team uh sand toxicity all right this actually looks like pretty good also we have cinderace on this team which is really fitting because we obviously just drafted cinderace in the jwf so which again is another spoiler if that video has not come out yet Hopefully it will. Um, I just go uh, Ed and Driller. That's 100% the play. I mean, they can go, they can go Gastro if they want, but they have to, or Cinderace, I guess, too for high jump kick. But the thing is, is that they have to know what Gastron does because they have a Gastron. So if they lead Gastron and they go for uh, a Water type move, Metagross and Cinderace. Okay. So 110%. I think I'm gonna protect here and. Just go for a. Um, I don't think Stealth Rock's gonna be good here. I think I just go for a high horsepower on Metagross. I think that's actually. I'm gonna protect and then go for a high horsepower on Cinderace. I think that's probably our play. Because he's just gonna go for a high jump kick into Ed. If he doesn't, then I'd be surprised. High jump kick. Miss. Oh, he went for a driller! And he. That would have KO'd. <laughs> We're not focused sash either. No, I'm sad for she agilities. Ooh, dude, that actually kind of that sucks for him. You're gonna go for whim. So I go for a crunch. I could go for a dragon dance. We go for a dragon dance. I go for a high horsepower. Grassy terrain. What? Wait, wait, what are you doing? Wait, well, what is this dude doing? Why going for grassy terrain? For health recovery? I'm confused because unless it's telepathy, Coco, why have grassy terrain on a Whimscott when you have a Pokemon that just comes in and bolt switches that has electric terrain that's just gonna keep getting rid of it that's weird i don't know that's weird we'll see if we can find a, another battle i don't know if that dude had a plan or something oh look we found a, an easy team cool i mean i'll take it we'll go ahead and driller found an easy team here um he does have level one togedomaru which is just gonna come in and endeavor so we do have to worry about it. it's focus sash endeavor um <clears throat> so we do have to worry about that but at the same time i'm not too worried about it so you can't really do too much um he's gonna come out with porygon sue and pink kirchen which is fine all right um they can't touch ed here so i 100 go for a dragon dance and i'm gonna go for a stealth rock to break that stupid little uh that stupid little focus sash on token mark that's 100 our play so he's gonna hydro pump okay 
any trick rooms. Alright, so... We're faster. I just go for a rock slide then, and then go slimy slime? Because he, if he just goes... I mean, thanks! Um... Oh, you were really, really worried, weren't you? Um, okay. Maybe I go for another Dragon Dance. Maybe I go for another Dragon Dance. I'm gonna set up another Dragon Dance. And we're gonna just Earth Power KO that um, precursor. He doesn't have anything for add, that's the thing. He doesn't have anything for add. So he's gonna go into Pikachu. He's gonna recover. I go for another Earth Power, takes out the Pink Urchin, and then I just... I think we might just keep setting up Dragon Dances here, unless he just comes in with... I mean, he has three turns left to Trick Room, so I feel like we go... I feel like... Amoongus might be a good play here. He literally... His, his Token Tomorrow is, is useless in this battle now because of the fact that... Well, you don't have Focus Sash, my guy. I'm doing it again! I'm doing it again. You can't touch me. Yeah, because the thing is, is I KO something, comes in with a Moongus the next turn, I protect. So that way, if he even, if he goes for four, sport, okay, so he's going to go for fake out. I see, I see, how, I see your play. Wait. What? How did you get that? Is that? It's Shell Bell. That's kind of stupid, but okay. Um, I'm trying to see who. I'm going to go into Shadow here, actually. I think these are probably our best bet. And I'm going to just Protect. And uh, Shadow Ball or Draco? We just Shadow Ball on the Pikachu. Actually, I'm going to Protect and then Shadow Ball on the uh, Toad. Because thing is, is that if he wants to go for an Endeavor and Dad, he can if he wants. The thing is, is that I Protect. Um, and then I take out the token tomorrow here. Watch, he's gonna go for Endeavor. Oh, look at that! Wow! I called it 100% because I knew exactly what you're gonna do. I'm not stupid. Goodbye, token tomorrow. You are not endeavoring me. Now, he can easily come back out with Porygon Sue here to set up Trick Room again, but the thing is, is that if he does that, then he's kind of screwed because I just take him. Okay. Okay, so Wimp. I go for a rock slide and another shadow ball into whim here. The, the thing is, is that we're faster than Pikachu, and if that's a slow whim, which I'm guessing it's not, he might send it. Okay, so he's gonna. You you can't. We're immune to it, we're immune to prankster moves, dude. Dark types are immune to prankster moves. So goodbye, Pikachu. Oh my God, this dude is is making all sorts of bad plays here. I'm sorry, my guy. But you can't have a team that's, like, all tiny Pokemon like that and expect to come up against an Excadrill and a Titar and a Dragapult and a Cinderace and everything and expect you're going to win. And my guy literally had a Pink Kirchen that went for Hydro Pump when I have a Gastrodon. He literally said, I'm going to click Hydro Pump when he has a Pokemon that's not only immune but gets a special attack boost from it. Like, my guy. Well, that's two forfeits already. I get one more battle. I usually don't do three. We usually do two and two, but all these battles have been really, uh, really quick because people, I mean, we've only won, like, completely won one out of any, all the battles that we've done here. And now we're fighting a team that's a little bit more scary. Okay, um, I'm gonna go Ed and Driller here. I feel like, oh man, I feel like it's probably Nine Tails. Kieran. Okay. Okay. I... Do I just go for a... No, I think I just go for a rock slide, and I think I go for a high horsepower on the stack. It goes for outrage, dude. Oh my god. How much does... How much is, is rock slide gonna do to Kieran? Okay, enough that if he goes for... Then who comes out here? Uh, Incineroar or Shifu? Do you have? Do I say? I think we save it, and I think I go slimy slime, and then I go. Oh 
man, this could be a bad play, but I'm just going to do it. Hopefully he just, oh, he does just go for a drain punch, dude. That's what I was the most nervous about. That's what I was the most nervous about, dude, was that stupid drain punch. I was like, is he stupid enough? No, he has a gas rod on his team. Obviously knows what Storm Drain does. Ah, okay. Um, we're going to go Shadow and Scott here. That's 110% our play. Um, I have to go for a Draco on the Urshifu, and my only play here is to go for... But a Quick Attack's not enough to take out the Kiram, is it? I feel like I just go for an Iron Head. Want to take it out? We don't take it out, dude! I'm hoping that this is enough so Urshifu Surging Strikes won't KO us. It is. Okay, cool. That's really what I was hoping for. Don't get four! He th three times. Alright, that's kind of big. Um, so he's, he's going to come in with Incineroar. Um, now, I go for a another Draco at Ursh, and then I go into Ed here, because he's just going to fake out Scott. Um, I'm trying everything I can to, to win this, guys, but I don't know if we do or not. Urshifu's gone. I don't know how we beat Gashadon, that's the thing. Yeah, I don't know how we beat Gashadon. Uh, I have to switch. He's going to go for a Darkest Lariat. I got to go into Slash here. And I guess maybe I can go go for a Protect and stall out a turn. Um, he's going to go for a Knockoff, not even Darkest Lariat. There's the Scald. Okay. Um, I guess my only play here would be to... What, it, what What is better here? Boom Burst? I think we just go for a Boom Burst and then I'm just going to go for a Rock Slide. Yeah, I don't think it did enough, but... We're faster than both of them! Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Saving Ed was actually big. Say, wait, we won. We won! Yo, wait, 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 wait. I think we won. The only way we lose this... I go for a Pyro Ball into Ninetales and a Draco into Gastrodon. How did we win? Dude, how did we win this? My only play... If he if if he's faster, he's faster, he wins. Damn it. Uh, if he wasn't faster! If he wasn't faster! Um, dude, uh, 348. Oh, uh, damn it, dude. It's 348 speed. I can't even see. Let me just... Um... 348, 370. Yeah, if he he was he's choice scarf. That that's it. He was he was choice scarf. No, he was life orb. 348, 3. Am I not max speed? I might not be max speed. I can't remember. It's been a while since I put. I don't think I was max speed. That's probably why. I think. Was that more HP? No, I was not HP invested. But I'm adamant. I'm adamant, not jolly. That's, yeah, or timid, I mean. Uh, that's why. That's why we didn't, I'll see it. Damn it. Okay. Well, either way, GG's. Um, we won almost every battle, and the last one came down to be really so can't be salty about anything um overall i'm pretty happy about everything turned out i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave a like down below subscribe if you guys are new uh help me hit my end of the year goal of 350 subscribers but other than that like i say at the end of every video i am the nitro general i really hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you in the next one nitro general is out peace